Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to explore a tool called Swept Bow Space. And using this tool, we're going to create a bracelet, which will look something like this. And let's take a look how we do that. I'm going to go here on the sketch mode, top plane, I'm going to sketch on it, I'm going to bring the circle. And I'm going to keep the circle's radius as 45 millimeters. Now the circle is ready. The one more thing I'm going to add here is I'm going to add a point on the circle. So go to this little button here called point. And on one of those yellow diamonds, when it turns into orange, I'm going to click on it. That will make a point there. I'm going to hit fix here, which will make my circle define. I'm going to get out the sketch. And now I'm going to make a plane, which is exactly normal to this point. I'm going to go to plane. I'm going to select the point here. And then I'm going to select the circle itself. And I'm going to click on the set origin on curve so that the zero, 00 for the particular plane that we're going to create will be set to this origin here. There we go. It's just fully defined, nice and clean. Now I'm just going to make it a little smaller. It just looks too big make it normal to the plain one that we just created and now I'm gonna sketch on the plane that we just created but this time instead of circle I'm gonna use ellipse let's create an ellipse so the vertical radius is gonna be nine millimeters and the horizontal is gonna be four millimeters and I'm going to say OK. Now, as we can see, that the circle has been created nice and clean. We have a point and we create an ellipse exactly from the center of the point. Just going to hide this plane to get out of my way. And now I'm going to go to Features and I'm going to click on Swept Bow Space. Now, in Profile, uh, I'm going to select the ellipse. Let's say sketch two, and in path I'm going to select this circle. Now, if we click on this, we'll see a bracelet, but it does not look like this. So let's take a look how we do that. Before we move forward, I would like to make some changes here. I'm gonna make this sketch two, and I'm gonna rename it, and I'm gonna say profile. I'm going to go sketch one here and I'm going to say path. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the Swift, right click, edit feature. And as you can see here, the thing's been changed. Instead of sketch two and sketch one, now it's profile and path. So if, if you really name your sketches, it would be very useful and we'll have less trouble so now I'm going to go to option and I'm going to go click on twist along the path which is second from the last and in under the option defined by I'm going to change from degrees to turns and here I'm going to start turning it away and one more four if the show preview box is checked you'll be able to see the preview now I'm right here. Uh, if we take a look at this closely, it looks very, very close to this. Now the only difference between this and this we see for now is that it has a groove. I think clean groove details. So I'm just going to add that detail. Let's take a look how we do that. Now I'm going to go to profile. I'm going to go to edit sketch. going to go and do normal to the sketch. And now I'm going to make an offset of this ellipse real quick. The offset dimension we need here is 0.5 millimeters. And I'm going to select this ellipse. I'm going to uncheck bidirectional. I'm going to make it reverse because we want uh, ellipse to be inside. So now we have the details. Now I'm going to create a center line real quick from here to here to make offset both the sides 
by a directional but the offset dimension this time is one millimeter here we go now I'm gonna use the trim entities and pay attention a little closely here or else you might get some errors uh, trim to closest if you start trimming from the internal ellipse which is defined then it's gonna show this error you cannot trim so let's start trimming from here trim this I'm gonna trim this I'm gonna trim this trim this now internal ellipse has been turned into blue so and now you can see it allows us to trim it so I'm gonna trim those details and as you can see this little glitch is here so I'm gonna trim that part too make sure you don't forget to trim those parts or you may not be able to create a successful swept post bay feature so now we are here and I'm gonna say okay so as we can see we have this little grow detail in our profile now I'm gonna say okay and now if you see carefully so we have perfect detail that this bracelet has here now if you see closely you will see that the edges here does not look as sharp as it looks here so that means we need to add a fillet here so let's go to fillet button and the fillet should be 0.15 millimeter now remember uh, if your hardware is is not powerful enough your machine will feel a huge lag here so it's not advisable if your machine is not too powerful to try this it may freeze in between so be careful and make sure that you have saved your file go to file oh, I'm in the command so it's not allowing me to do that I'm gonna go to file and save first before I do anything and then I'm gonna go to fill it 0.15 millimeter constant radius and now I'm gonna start selecting this surface and I'm gonna select the top edge And I'm gonna select this another edge right here now as you can see it did create the fillet nice and clean but it did not create the fillet at the other side so if you remember carefully in our profile sketch we had two sides where there were grooves that's why we need to select those faces as well and those details as well in order to make fillet there so I'm gonna click on the face here real quick all right so now here we can see that both the sides has been nicely clean and lit now I'm gonna say okay to the fillet and it's gonna take again a long time to calculate and now we can see that the entire bracelet with wonderful details has been developed NASA Works 2010 and 2009 has a nice rendering engine called Photo360. You can save this file here. Just go inside the Photo360, apply the material gold on this, and select the appropriate environment. And you should be able to achieve the result very close to this. And that concludes the tutorial. I hope it was informative. Thank you for watching.